Hello, morning. So I am very gingerly throwing the tyres off the silage pit and I'm going to take all the sheet off because as you can see it's very uh, there's not a lot left here and it's going to start coming away from the wall and it will end up falling over um, and then all the sheet gets mixed up with it so actually it's probably better for us if we just sorry I saw it oh. I keep thinking it's going to fall when I'm on it the likelihood is very slim, but still, I don't like him going. After sleeping on the floor, I go and slipping out the door before you see my face. I'm slipping out the door. So, this is like the lowest bit, and all loads of water sat here, so it's a little bit skanky. To be fair, it smells fair nice on the floor. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit slimy on top, so I'm being <laughs> extra careful. This is awful. Oh, yeah, the water all sat down here. But it doesn't look too bad down there, does it? So I just need to get that off. I've just got a present. A present. <laughs> and although Mark says don't put it on YouTube, mate. <laughs> I have had a really shitty week. This has literally just cheered me right up. Thank you. And I mean that. This isn't a hollow thank you. It's my real... <laughs> oh my God, I'm never going to use anything else. In fact, I'm going to use it now. Lady <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm crying. Oh my God, Anna won. She's going to... Oh my god, she's gonna be made up. Oh, she's gonna love it. <laughs> oh my god, you're such a star. This is so cute. I needed this. I needed this. Ollie, mate, you're off. You're off. Look, you're off, man. You're you are off. Yes, life. Oh my god, it's even in my colour. How did you eat? Oh, Mark, man, you just. That's the kindest thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, I mean, I really love it. I love it. Mate. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to wear them forever. Do I look cool? Do I look cool, though? Do I look cool? Mm-hmm. 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 Talks not very well that I keep seeing, so I'm just gonna um, take it home and try and feed it a little bit. Well, I'm not. I'm gonna put it in the incubator that we used to have for the chicks that must actually my mum and dad's, and hopefully just give it a little bit of water. Um, I'm about to look online to see how to help a hedgehog. Shouldn't be out during the day, and it definitely shouldn't be sitting in the middle of there. It did curl up in a bowl though, which helped. Careful, we've got delicate livestock on board. Sorry. Hey, Ru. What's that? <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> what does it say? What does it say on the back? Three 
What do you say? Thank you. Is that exciting? What can you do with your teddy? Go, ladies, go! Can't. So we're just turning out two of the girl cows that are looking less than fat. Um, they won't be to go for an awful long time. So, <laughs> right luck. <look. laughs> we, are, we are just moving some babies to bigger accommodation yet again. Um, now the cubicles are empty, we can start utilizing them. Yeah, they're gonna be far too big for these guys, but do you know what? It's better than where they're at right now. They're gonna be a lot cleaner and they're gonna have um, a lot more access to uh, silage because the troughs are huge. They're obviously they're made for cows. Uh, so they're fattening a lot quicker as well. So we are about to run the cows that have calved through the crush that I've just washed to give them their magnesium boluses. In essence, a magnesium bolus is a slow release tablet that goes and sits in the stomach of the cow and then releases magnesium as cows cannot store, well sheep can't either, hence why they were dying. Uh, they can't store magnesium, it's not possible. So this literally sits in the stomach and um, gives, gives out little bits of it kind of thing. It, they say it lasts, um, I don't remember if it's six weeks or six months or something. Anyway, the fresh spring grass contains no magnesium um, and this is why they need this extra little bit of help. So this stops something called hypomagnesiumemia, I think it's called, that might be wrong, someone might correct me, and otherwise known as grass staggers in cows. So it does not take long to go down with staggers, it really doesn't. We will not have lost a cow for years um, at all until last year when one escaped onto fresh grass. Uh, they did have them, you know, the Chrysalix green mag buckets in, uh, but it didn't seem to make, that's off the mellow, um, make that much of a difference, to be honest, with that one cow. It got out onto fresh grass and overnight, it literally, yeah, it got staggers and died, it was terrible. So, it happens early and late. So it happens now in spring when the grass is fresh growing and it's really, it's really fast growing and there isn't the minerals in it that the cows need. And it happens at back end when it's getting cold and they're ready for coming in. There isn't also a lot in the grass at that time of year as well. So it can happen at two times of the year. So like at back end, you would not put your cows onto a field of fresh grass. You just wouldn't do it. Um, it's, yeah, they might need the grass, but honestly, it's just not worth it because you will probably lose one. Um, Cause it's not like you're gonna bring them in and bolus them. This, I did a TikTok video on this last year and it did really well and people were genuinely interested in why we were giving these cows these big magnesium bullets and why we were give how do you give a cow a tablet, you know, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think it's good to be educated on this sort of thing. Sheep-wise, I made the mistake of not bolusing them this year. I will not make that mistake again. So I ended up going down the route of having mag flakes in the water. That was a last resort, let me tell you. That was a last resort. So as you've seen, I've washed the handling system. This is an IE, uh, no affiliation with whatsoever, um, right hand swing handling system. The cows go down here, they get swooped around at the end and they come up here and into the crush. So this crush, the, the mooing because um, Roy's not let them through yet, he's just cleaning them. This is an IE Saracen Suckler crush. Now, if you're looking at these crushes, I wish I had my other phone that I could zoom out. You wanna see how far away I have to stand? There are two types of these crushes. There's a Saracen Suckler. I think it even says it on it. Yeah, it does. And there's also a Saracen Dairy. Now the Saracen Dairy does not open completely like this. I've not finished washing out yet, by the way. Um, I just thought we'd run the cows through before I finish off doing the last bit. So yeah, the dairy is not the same. We had a friend of ours who wanted a crush, um, thought that he just went in and said an IE Saracen and yeah, he got the wrong one. So for those of you who do not know, what happens is a cow will run down here and basically she will stick her head in here and she will push with her shoulders. And if you watch, it narrows down so that she can't back out. It doesn't trap her head or anything. It just traps around her neck. So obviously the heads are bigger than the necks. So that is called a self-yoking headstock. Very interesting. Oh, I've just banged my knee. Mm. 
on the self yoking headstone. We also have, which is integral to this process, the IE head scoop. Amazing. Now, I will say, we borrowed one off a friend before we bought one because they had a mega, mega long waiting list. Johnny's had a longer handle, which meant that you had more leverage and it was a lot easier to use. The new ones are more compact and you can't quite get quite um, as much leverage. Um, I don't know why they did that because, yeah, the metal seems to be chunkier looking, but not quite as long slightly disappointing in my view um, just from having used both of them I suppose if you're only used to one and you've never tried both you wouldn't know the difference sorry for being so farmerish on you I'm not normally serious so I have a Zay GoPro in my pocket I'm going to stick it somewhere I'll stick it somewhere uh, and you can see us uh, working the cowl but it didn't mean it didn't matter to me like taking steps is what I had to do Cause a journey separated from the life that we had made It was the one and only thing that I just didn't want to do Cause love has all gone wrong Did you expect to be the one who got away not being hurt? Cause love has all gone wrong If it was meant for you and me then I'm sure God would make it work It's all wrong Cause you were mine So I'll be strong And let out a sigh It was nice to meet you The pleasure was all mine Just don't go feel blue About me walking out on you Cause it's the way to be I walked out on you Cause it's the way it had to be Please can you forgive me Not for leaving you but letting feelings go No thoughts about you each and every other day Made me think about the things that I don't already know Cause love is all gone wrong Did you expect to be the one who got away and I'm being hurt? Cause love is all gone wrong If it was meant for you and me Then I'm sure God would make it <laughs> Never not, do never not, do never not run over these. That's how you break them. Do never not run over them. So I'm just gonna um, get the scraper and scrape back. Dead exciting.